Hi guys, so as we know, Nigel Farage is a horrible individual, but how deep he can sink is always surprising to me. He's decided to set his sights on the Royal National Lifeboat Institute, calling them a taxi service for people who, who are trying to get to Britain across the channel. Now, he in this piece says that he supported the lifeboats in the past and he supports them today, but he's speaking out on behalf of people who are concerned with what's happening. Didn't Nigel Farage just a few weeks ago suggest that members of the public might intervene on the coast? I, I wonder which members of the public he was talking about. Anyway, let's hear his latest excuse for his language against the RNFI. I am a supporter of the work they do. They go out in dangerous conditions, they save people, they rescue people. And that's all to the good. I've given them money personally too. I believe in the RNLI and I know many people involved with it. What I have said over the course of the last few weeks is that it is to be regretted that the RNLI in Kent particularly, partly in East Sussex, increasingly is becoming a taxi service for the illegal gangs pushing migrants across into the English Channel. What's very interesting about the language, if you follow Nigel Farage's language and other people like him, they've moved on from describing the migrants being, you know, using a taxi service to the illegal gangs using the taxi service. So it's interesting how they've moved from criticizing the migrants themselves directly to criticizing the gangs who are sending these migrants across the sea. Now, why not make a, a more humane immigration system? Why not make it easier for people to claim asylum? Maybe people could claim asylum in France, get themselves processed, and then they could travel into the UK without having to cross in a rubber boat. They could actually take a ferry. They could take a flight because they would have the correct paperwork. But you don't want that, Nigel. Why don't you support a solution to this instead of just complaining and attacking organizations that are trying to help people at sea, help the victims here? I assume that Nigel sees the people in the sea as victims here. Has effectively become an arm of border force and that this is leading to division within coastal communities. Wow. <laughs> Who do you think has seeded this division? Who has been banging on about this issue over the last number of, not months, but also over the last number of years? Which individual do you think has been shouting the loudest about people coming across in boats? I wonder who that is, Nigel. Questions that are being asked by RNLI crew. Uh, and that it's a problem because people who give money to the RNLI are asking themselves, do we really want to give money for this? Who are these people? I would love to know who are these people who originally were giving money and are now concerned about money being spent on what? What is the RN RNLI doing that's outside the ethos of the organization? Their goal is to rescue people at sea who are in distress. How are they not doing that? Which individuals have decided we're not going to give money anymore? Are there people who have decided they're not going to give money? Or is this some sort of thinly, tr thinly veiled threat of a boycott? Now, I don't need to be told any lessons about the values of the RNLI or the need for it to raise money. I've been involved in it. I also don't need to be lectured by anybody about the dangers at sea. I was involved in a rescue, two men in the water towards the end of last year. You know, I held this guy's hands. I wasn't sure he was going to make it. He had the early stages of exposure. I understand those that are coming here illegally are still human beings, of course. Then why don't you support a mechanism for them to arrive in the country in a legal way? Why don't you support them being able to claim asylum in France. I'm not talking about claiming asylum in France to stay in France. I'm talking about claiming asylum in France to get access to the UK. Why can't 
you why don't you support mechanisms for people to be able to get into the UK while avoiding crossing the sea in a rubber boat? Of course, I understand all of that, but I worry, I worry that the RNLI is doing the wrong thing. And today, I spoke to two lifeboatmen today. What are they doing wrong? Their job is to rescue people in distress at sea. How are they not doing that? Now, the reason why these people are in distress at sea is complicated, but that's not the job of the RNI to decide. It's not their, it's not their job to fix this problem. Their job is to go out and rescue people at sea. One of them said, when the pager goes, you know, he knows it'll be migrant boats, but he goes and takes the call. He goes to sea. He said his anger was at the French and British authorities for doing so little that was leading to so many people taking risks with their lives. Why the French? Why, what do you want the French government to do? These people want to get to the UK. They don't want to stay in France. Like, if people don't want to stay in France and they want to get to the UK, what are you expecting the French government to do? If people want to claim asylum in the UK, why do you want the French to do something? Like, this guy who Nigel Farage is speaking on behalf of, what is in his mind? What does he want the French government to do? To hold these people back in some way? To make it more difficult for them to get across the sea? So that it will, instead of using rubber bolts, they use rafts or something instead? By trying to make it difficult doesn't, make the, doesn't stop it. You need an, an alternative. But nobody wants to talk about an alternative. I spoke to another lifeboatman today, who after 15 years of service, and remember, these are volunteers, after 15 years of service, has resigned his position with the lifeboats because he's trying to run a business. Um, and we've seen instances of yachts breaking down, not being attended to, fishing boats whose engines have broken. What now, a yacht breaking down, and I've said this before, this is a charity organization. If they hear about someone in distress, they'll go out and help them. Now, if somebody is sinking and someone's yacht has broken down, not even a yacht, and I just choose any type of boat, my engine has stopped working. While someone else is sinking, who do you think the lifeboat is going to go out and help? Now, it doesn't matter who's in the boat. It doesn't matter the situation um, on board. It's, it's what's happening to the boat itself. Would you prefer that the lifeboat went out and made sure someone's yacht was, the engine was working? Or would you prefer them to go out and rescue people who, who are in real distress? And also the lifeboat can't be everywhere. So if the Coast Guard in, are in one place rescuing people, they'll call on the lifeboat to help someone somewhere else. But once again, we're missing the big point here. Washed up on the beach, not being towed away. And in response to me saying all of this, the RNLI have hit back. They've posted these videos showing the lifeboats out rescuing people. Yes, we know that's what the lifeboats do. But they've got a bit further than that. They've clearly, head office in pool, have clearly employed a PR company. And what PR companies try to do is find some victims or find a victim and find somebody who is the baddie. No, they, <laughs> they want to show people what they actually do. Because there's a lot of misinformation about. I wonder where this misinformation came from. You know, people saying that they're working as a taxi service. I wonder who has been spreading this information. I wonder why they have to actually take money and spend it on promoting the truth about them and, and not spend it on actually saving lives. Because they're afraid that, as you're going to point out in a moment, that members of their staff have been attacked by members of the public. I wonder who has been egging on the members of the public to intervene or to deal with this problem. I wonder whether the RNLI have used the same PR firm that Harry and Meghan are using.
is it like you have to is it is there a bell rings and i have to say i have to put harry i have to attack harry and megan somewhere and i have to put it into this report what the hell has this got to do with harry and megan bloody hell because the victims are people working on the lifeboats and we're told they're having abuse shouted at them by members of the public exactly and who has been egging on the members of the public now can anyone think of an, an ordinary person? What ordinary person would attack volunteers working on the lifeboats? Please tell me what what individual, what type of, what does it go, th what goes through someone's mind that they decide I'm going to go down to the beach where I see members of the RN, RNFI, or sorry, RNLI. I'm going to go down there and I'm going to attack those people because they're rescuing people in the sea. Rescuing people I don't like in the sea. And where do you think those people who went down there got their message from? Got, where do you think the poison came from that was poured into their ears? I can't say for certain that hasn't happened, but I can assure you I haven't said any abusive words to members of the lifeboat crews. Ah, okay, so you haven't done it, but somebody else did. Wow. <laughs> so, Nigel Farage, who has been pouring poison into the ears of the public on a whole number of different issues, has decided, but it's not me. I didn't say anything. Maybe I said something that convinced somebody else to do it, but that's not my fault. I feel sorry for them and for their predicament. But the baddie, of course, is me. It's me daring to say, daring to say, and there we see the Guardian, you know, daring to say that the lifeboat service was being used for a different purpose and had become an arm of the borderfall. What other purpose is it serving? Its job is to rescue people in distress. If the people, the migrants, are not in distress, then their lifeboat will not rescue them because they don't need to be rescued. Their goal is to save. Look, you can see here on their Twitter, it says here, we're the charity that saves lives at sea. They save lives at sea. What do you want them to do, Nigel? What, would, what are they doing that you don't like? Obviously, we all know what they're doing that he doesn't like. They're picking up migrants in the middle of the sea. He doesn't want them picked up in the, in the middle of the sea. He wants them sent back to France. But that would be breaking international law. So I'm the baddie that's led to this situation that means horrible things are being said about lifeboatmen. I've seen it all before. I've fought against corporate organisations many, many times. All I can tell you is a very, very large number of people in our coastal communities are deeply disquieted by what's going on. And who do you think poured poison into their ears? Who convinced them that their anger should be directed at the, the volunteers who are rescuing people at sea? And frankly, if I was running my own business on the south coast and I repeatedly kept being called out to sea to rescue migrant boats, which frankly, frankly, ought to be in many ways the job of the Border Force and the Royal Navy, who rather than bringing... The Royal Navy? <laughs> what's, the, what's this got to do with the Royal Navy? ...them into British ports should be frankly returning them to French ports. It's not the job of the Royal Navy or Border Force to bring people back to France. That would be breaking international law. If this was costing me as a businessman that much money, I have to say I would consider my position. I have no desire. Well, Nigel Farage has concern for businesses all of a sudden. I wonder how many fishermen would like to hear about Nigel Farage's concern for business. To pick a fight with the RNLI. All I was doing was pointing out the truth. But if you, the bosses in pool, want to pick a fight with me, that's fine by me. I fought people bigger and uglier than you in the past. How about you pick a fight with me, Nigel? <laughs> so Nigel Farage, once again, pouring poison into the ears of the public and then stepping back and claiming that wasn't me. I didn't say anything bad. 
This is disgusting behavior, but it's normal behavior for Nigel Farage. And now that he has a very loud uh, megaphone to spew his crap, it's just going to get worse. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?